Hello everyone. First of all, many thanks to Microsoft Power BI team for providing such a great platform for all the Power BI users. My name is Ashish Jagdale, data analyst at CloudFront Technologies, Mumbai. You can also catch me on Power BI online community. For this report contest, we have considered brand PepsiCo. Note that we have created our own data set with some dummy values and revenue figures. So PepsiCo is a US based leading beverage and snacks food companies headquartered in New York. So we have considered different products for PepsiCo like Pepsi, Lay's, Tropicana, 7up and so on with different warehouses in US. So let's begin by having a look at the data set used for creating this report. So we have four tables in our data set, warehouse details, product details, sales summary and the bid details. The sales summary table contains the revenue sales amount and the quantity of products sold. Also you can have a look at the relationships between these tables. Okay, let's move on to the report. So we have five reports. First one is a sales by warehouse. So by looking at this map, you can easily figure out. So at which warehouse location I have the maximum number of sale. Also, we can filter out this report for different months. So we have considered data for three months. That is December 2015, Jan and Feb 2016. So you can filter this data as well. Next one is the sales comparison. So many a times we need to compare sales amount from the previous month versus the current month. So for instance, I want to compare the 20th of December with 20th of Jan. So you can easily see the 20th of December was having more sale as compared to the 20th of Jan. When I click on this, the report will get filtered and you can see that 20th of December was Sunday. Hence, there might be more sale on this day. Similarly, you can analyze for other days and date as well. Next one is the actual versus target. So many a times there is a need that sales manager you need to set a target for the sale at different locations. So the red one indicates the actuals that is the previous month amount. The orange one indicates the target amount. So note that we have considered the average amount per day. So and the pointer indicates the current month value. So looking at this visualization, you can easily figure out what is my target and what are the achievables. So we have used over here two custom visualization. One is a text scroll and another one is a dial gauge. The text report is a sales by day and month. So this report is basically a running total for all the three months sales. For example, you can see the running total for 11, 12. The revenue amount keeps on adding as on each day. You can also filter this report with respect to different products. 7up, Pepsi and so on. Also, you can filter this report by different warehouses. You will get the running total at each location. And the last one is the product detail. In this report, you can easily visualize the total sales by quantity of items sold in terms of the number of items sold and the total sales by product as well. So these are all the reports derived from this data set by considering the brand as PepsiCo. Thank you so much.